Now, is being better than someone else actually a good thing? Um, and one I wanted to focus on is like actors and musicians, you know, anybody that's at the top of any form of art. Art is so important. It really stimulates right brain thinking. And the more people that can get involved in art, the more our imaginations to create things that we love get inspired. Even writing. Um, any, anything that's involvement in art at all is something the majority of the planet needs to sort of jump into. But we tend to do this a little wrong. We have the, um, you know, really famous actors that, you know, they, they may be good at their craft and because they've done one really good movie, which may not have even been their acting that made them famous, but more the storyline that made them famous. I mean, there's so many aspects as to what they were famous for, but if we associate one movie with this one actor, we think he's a good actor. So then we want that actor to play in another movie and then another movie and then another movie. And then one actor ends up making all of the money. And not only that, we end up using them as um, our lamp posts, our, our, our for sale signs. You know, we give them free clothing. We, we give them everything free because while we're taking pictures of these famous people that have everything, you know, we want to, you know, be just like them and you know so while you earn that much money and while you have this focus on being better than everybody else you kind of are causing a lot of people anger and want to see you fail so you know when you see these inquirers and you know the star and everybody trying to destroy a happy couple it's like we like to see your destruction because you're the one that's saying you're so be much better than the rest of us. And it's like, if you don't want people to be coming at you from a negative source, you've got to look at where your responsibility is in putting out the negative. If you want to be, if you are, are so in need of attention that you have to appear like you're the best, and only hire me because I'm the best so I can make the most money so that I can wear all the free clothes and drive all the free cars you've got to understand that's taking something away from somebody else and while that one person that you're taking it away from may not be the one that wants to see you fail you're putting the energy out so everybody else will be involved in your failure so you know and when you get you know like as popular as Michael Jackson all you need to do is have you know get one bad story out there to get the majority of people against you and then you have so much negative energy coming at you that you can't handle it and you know that pain of having so many people trying out to destroy you will get you to do drugs you know so Michael Jackson just couldn't even handle that much negative energy being directed at him because he was so good, you know, and he was, you know, flaunted how much money he had. You know, that caused an awful lot of negative energy that somebody just had to make a suggestion of a negative story to start the whole wave of negative coming at him. And, uh, but if we did it a little differently, that sure, make whatever money is, is reasonable. First of all, I really highly doubt that we need to be paying that much money for a film, which means that half of these actors don't need to be making that much money, and half of the production doesn't need to be making that much money. I mean, all of our cost in, in, in how much it costs us to even see that movie is so inflated because you need to be rich. You know, so every time you put out some money, I mean, you're going to have some people trying to hack away of trying not to pay because you know it's not fair. And then, you know, if somebody ends up going online and watching things free, you're kind of pissed off that things are being stolen from you. And it's like, 
you ain't asking for your fair share anyway. So in a way, you're kind of stealing other people's money because you're asking for something that isn't worth the value that you're charging. And people know that. There's an energy out there that's going to, to hack into what you don't want. And at the same time, you know, if you do earn a fairly good living off of even one film, then maybe it's time to step down and let somebody else have a chance. You know, there, if we sort of developed some kind of rule that says, you know, yeah, only good actors, I mean, you got to develop your skill to the point where you are good at what you're doing, but don't just always hire somebody famous for something that they've done in their past. Give another person the opportunity. Give somebody else a hand up at having the same joy. Support other people. You know, once you've been in a good movie or something, get into teaching other people to see how good it was. You know, there's so many different ways that we can um, market our skills and earn our living so it's more equal for everybody, so everybody has the same opportunities. I know that um, even bands, um, back in my day, when I was a kid, we used to go to bars that had live bands, and there is nothing, nothing can compare to going to see a live concert or going to a bar and having live music, good quality live music playing. It's so much better than hearing a record play. And, you know, but we need to he see these massive concerts and put out these massive albums that have to make millions and millions of dollars, you know, when just go and play locally. Enjoy your craft. Don't sell your soul because the only people that are making money off of these billion dollar records are, are these big executives that are only making money off of you. And they will control what you sing. They'll control every aspect of how you enjoy your craft. And most people that get involved in the arts, because they don't know that they've sold their souls, they get into drugs. There's, you got to understand that to do drugs means there's something not happy in your life. A lot of people take drugs because, oh, it's fun. It gives me a good feeling. I'm able to, you know, express myself better. Well, why can't you express yourself without drugs? There's a problem there. Or else there's, you know, a lot of pain. A lot of people take drugs because it's a painkiller. And, you know, we need to find the root of what causes this pain. We need to find the root of why do you need to do a lot of drugs if you're really famous if you have everything, if you're enjoying your craft, why is it you can't have fun doing that? Why is it the only way you're going to enjoy your life is by doing drugs? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So um, if we did things more sharingly, how many more people would be able to enjoy the arts? How many more people would be able to earn a living, you know, support their life, by doing something within the arts. To me, I think that is, if we want to see a massive healing on this planet, it would be the introduction of arts to everybody. And it is a matter of working less and earning more and loving what you do. And we can't comprehend that yet, but it's a matter of sharing opportunities because let's face it, at the end of the day, you cannot spend millions and billions of dollars. And you know, the big huge house that you end up buying is just a reflection of your greed. You don't need a big house like that. The only time you need something like that is when you see everybody else in your world can afford that. Otherwise, you are taking more out of the earth than you are putting in. And that is not healthy and in one way shape or form that negative energy that you are you know putting out into the universe will come back at you it is a matter of look at me I'm better than you and somebody's always gonna say no you're not and that experience when somebody says no you're not 
is the thing that's going to cause you the most pain and destroy your planet. If this is making any sense to you, please donate. There's a button in my channel um, for, through PayPal or share this with as many people as you can and just get it free. Peace and love.